Good morning, Ronald. Present here. So today I'm going to present my interview share. As my interview share, I'm going to present my uh, experience. So thanks, uh, thank you, Ronald, for providing me the opportunity to attend this interview. And this is my profile. What I what I've given to the company. So based on the profile only, they have called me, and it has been uh, um, accepted, and it has been accepted for an uh, interview. So that is the reason, uh, and now I'm here, and now I'm presenting what I'm what I'm uh, what I did in the past. Uh, 16 years. So first, let me discuss uh, about my experience. So initially, I worked in the forging industry for a period of 10 months, and then into four years into ISRO at uh, ISRO Trivandrum. Uh, so there I worked there for a period of four years. So totally nearly five years is the development experience, and the next three and a half years in IT consulting, and the next eight years in teaching. So this is my split up of my experience. So initially in forging industry, I was involved in estimation and design. So now let me come to come with a uh, correlation of the uh, academics. So academics, uh, my area of interest is project management. Project management. So in project management, I'm very much uh, interested in this uh, scheduling and other aspects that is CPM and BERT. So generally, you know about uh, two things. One is a CPM, another is BERT. CPM is critical path method, and another is program evaluation review technique. So critical path method, it is having different time estimates, and BERT, it is probabilistic time estimates. I, uh, I let me link my experience uh, with the uh, academic uh, teaching and learning. So uh, when I worked at the GSLD, as it's shown here, three fields uh, were flown during my period, GSLD F01, GSLD F02, and GSLD F04. So three fields have been flown during this uh, during my period. That is the greatest achievement. And there we had uh, totally different missions. So uh, everything is unique and it, it's a project only. So for F01, we had our own schedule, F02. It was from SLP and F04. It is from SLP. So that is the thing. So uh, CPM means what? It, what I mean to say is, this uh, F01 is a CPM mission and this F02 is a BERT mission. So here we had all the deterministic time estimates. So here we had all the probabilistic. So deterministic time estimates. What you do? You do activity on node or activity on arrow. So for example, if activity one to two duration is ten days, two to three ten days, and two to four it is ten days, and two to five it is fifteen days. Then we find out the area start, area is finish, let us start, let us finish. That is forward pass computation. We find out the area start, area is finish. Backward pass computation, we find the area later start, let us finish. So totally find out the things. And if there are two or three paths are there, then whichever is the highest, is the highest duration is called as a critical path. So that means the float should be zero. Highest path is a uh, CPM path, a critical path, and the, and the float should be zero. That is the main thing. So in different softwares, they say float, slack, everything are nearly remains the same. So like this only, we also first uh, schedule the, we also plan the system and integrate the system and then schedule the system and find out the critical path. And based on the prior real time, real time, real time discussion also, we give the priorities. That is how it happens. So here you can see the two schedules. It is a, uh, one is a GSD F01 and other is GSD F02. So this is a schedule. So like this, it, it, it works like this. So first it is a, the first launch plan. So here is one that name. L40 and then uh, GS2, EB, these things get assembled and then goes for counter and launch. So this is my first launch pad. Where the pedestal is moved and the launch vehicle remains at the stationary point. This is the uh, this is ordinary mission uh, with the CPM method. So this is the next one is a CPM, next one is a PERT method. So we use a PERT method. So I'm linking with this uh, syllabus. So here, let me link with project management and also interesting techniques. So here it is a vehicle assembly at VAB and then until GS1, GS2, EB compatible is X, we have. Until though we have one electrical checks, and then we have another electrical checks, and our UT we have another electrical checks. So for this, uh, we made it as a uh, integrated thing, and we, we made the industry and engineering analysis, uh, cost analysis, industry analysis, like a, a flow process chart and operation process chart, and we made it. And for example, for a simple nut and bolt assembly, left hand, first you hold the bolt, right hand, you hold the nut, then screw the nut, and then bring it to the left hand, and then put the uh, Put the nut and put the assembly, and then and and then and then delay, and then it goes to the place wherever it is required. So simple example we did like this. So similarly for operation process set, for raw material lying at the stores to the manufacturing of the product, we have different uh, lines, different routings will be there. Like this, we did the same analysis for this uh, um, JSO F0 to flight, and then we added the things. And compared to F01, it is in first launch pad. For second launch pad, we had different. And you guys, you can very visually see. That it is totally different. So here, operation of the UT vehicle movement. Movement is a movement, vehicle is movement of the UT. So for this, we have, to, we have to test all the technologies, how to move the vehicle, how to uh, do the time study, and how to do the two um, end process start, uh, operation process start. So all these things are linked. So like this, the project goes. So this is how the project management and uh, goes. So real time, you find out the critical path, and then you find out the uh, uh, critical activities, and uh, give a uh, good priority, and get the work done. 
So that is how the theoretically also we do and uh, practically also we do these things. So apart from this, then uh, then what I want to discuss is uh, this is about uh, project cost approval. So here uh, I showed you. Uh, this is the recent uh, achievement I got. So I got from uh, Glacier Institute, uh, Glacier Laguna uh, Bad. So there they gave me an award for concluding on my for uh, for my experience in all the 16 years of experience. So when I discuss about this launch vehicle project cost, so this is about uh, launch vehicle operation project cost for seven operational flights from a four to F10. So it is of the order of uh, 1325 crores. So for this, what you do is like a business plan we prepare. So now I link the subject with the, the with the industry. So here let me discuss with the entrepreneurship development. So entrepreneurship development also it is there. So there you got it as a business plan. Like this business plan, first you have to prepare the business. It can be sent a different way to the um, government organization. So it is. It is called as a it is called as a project report. So we make it as a project report. So for this we have flowchart. So first what we do is we make the feasibility study, and then we have the mission requirements, and then prepare the project cost. Prepare first identify the program, prepare the project cost, and then prepare the vehicle document. So from there it goes to different system development agencies and things like this. So let me discuss mainly about the entrepreneurship development, the business plan. So business plan. We have to first prepare a rough cost estimate based on the program, and you have to have a detailed program, and then you should have the business plan. Who are all the the business plan executive summary, and then what is the program schedule, and then what what is the what are the industries involved, and how the program is going to run. Who are all the what are all the benefits you are going to country is going to get, like social cost benefit analysis, and then about the what the what are the what are the types of uh, um, missions it is going to handle. And how the different uh, flight, uh, how the different flights are going to be flown, so that what is the change in the mission? So these things will be made, and what are the participating industries? And then they will be linked with the all the financial benefits and the financial plan. Everything will be given over here. Marketing, financial, operation, and HR plan. Everything will be given as a part of this business business uh, project report. So similarly, we call this business plan. So the project report we do it for the company, we do it for the organization, our organization, and then it comes to the. Real feature, but here, but some, but in the, but the case of entrepreneurship, they do it as an individual, and then they give it to the different people, and then they get the order, and then they do the business. That is the difference. Like this business plan also is being taken over here. So this is about the business plan. So then next, what I wanted to tell you is, uh, what I wanted to tell is, my, my major achievement is, I have, uh, I have made, uh, I'm working in uh, IT company. So this is my global certification. SAPPS, so I did for private management consultant in 2003. That is 2007. I got it. So this is a major achievement, global certification. So based on this, I worked in four or five companies, and then I got an offer letter of 7.5 lakhs per annum, and then I got a living letter. So this is about thing. And another one is about the NPT online certification leadership. Recently, I got the certification. So the next is a chainless bicycle. This is about the next thing what I achieved in the engineering college. It is a major achievement with kinematic links. It has been granted and published in the. It has been designed, uh, accepted, and published on the journal. It is a cycle. We have the four uh, four ball mechanism, fixed link, crank, coupler, and then rocker. So it works like this. So fixed now what fixed link? When you fix the output, the fixed link. So when you press the pedal, automatically it works with the four ball principle, four ball mechanism principle, and then it gets revolved, and you get the required motion. So it is in, it, it avoids the chain. And also bolt nuts, and then uh, bevel gear. Uh, alternately, bevel gear also has been tested. So the different mechanisms were tested. So we suggested this one, and it was a new innovation, new invention, and it has been uh, accepted by the Indian Patent Office. So this is about this one. So then, apart from this, uh, apart from academic teaching, I have been, I have once represented a college for a, I this uh, NPTEL, NPTEL ranking felicitation, felicitation, at IIT Madras in 2017. I represented SPOC. And then for achieving a uh, good NIR of rankings, NBA, NAC, and ISO, ISO, NIR of, so these things have been done. So then the track record of being vice principal in MM Polytechnic College, and the person current organization suggesting a MOE between KIC and SAP for training and certification, and for ISRO and KIC for launching satellites and battery ARP system for college. These are these are some of the extract. This is what I involved. These are all about this one. Then now let me come to the subject. So like this, uh, we have the different. Uh, uh, um entrepreneurship element we have different things like project report or a uh, business plan so like this uh, we prepare the business plan and then we do this so the entrepreneurship element this is the main thing other things are about the motivation factors other the motivation theories as well as need hierarchy theory so like this we discuss in this so in this uh, uh, subject so then uh, apart from this uh, let me tell about uh, more about this uh, 
project cost approval so this is a, as i told uh, it, i can link all the three as a single uh, component that is if we take into teaching teaching and learning the first one is uh, that is academic industry you call it as teaching and learning and then about r and d and about other other responsibilities so i can say that the teaching and learning i have made a significant contribution and as i told you about the different uh, uh subjects are handled and the results are produced and then about the uh, innovation things about uh, i made some innovative methods like giving pptts and giving real time case studies and then about the rnd funded by cost approval i got the maximum so it is a maximum one it is the highest achievement and i can i can say very bold it is a very very great achievement uh, for me and it gave me self contentment and based on this i uh, worked in consultancy also so that also i worked there so this is how the things are going on so this is about uh, this is about uh, this is about uh, things what is uh, going on so this is about uh, presentation about uh, consultancy consultancy i got a global certification and then i worked with the different companies so this is around the things uh, what i told so these two are very much relevant to the current uh, teaching field so here we talk about um, r&d projects and then uh, consultancy so i both the things i excelled i worked in different companies so such as one companies and i made the different consultancies and given good uh, good implementations and good support to the clients and then now i am into paper publication so first let me start with the sap paper publication and then i did give some projects in sap to my academic students and then i started uh, giving some projects in uh, other areas like materials and the composites there also gave some projects and then people worked in that area and my area of interest is into uh, sap and the other uh, relevant industry learning works that is what i have planned So now I'm publishing the paper, and now I'm doing my PhD work. So it is uh, relevant to project management and uh, scheduling, project management, project management uh, plan. Uh, that is effectiveness of project management schedule, the effectiveness of schedule management plan, and project management effectiveness. That is the idea. So that you do that as studying, and we take the different industries and study, and then we get the results. That is being our process. So based on this, I published two or three papers, and has been shown on my resume. That is the uh, work what I have done. So then, apart from this, uh, some technical content of uh, gas and mixture propulsion, it is there. So rocket propulsion, mainly into solid propulsion stage, I was being involved. Solid propulsion, GS1 stage, and uh, solid propulsion is an R and segment, and there are the five segments, and then GS2, GS3, and then about the EB and the encapsulated assembly. That is the thing. So solid propulsion system, whole I was involved uh, for uh, uh, realization of this uh, system. So the GS1 is there, NASA is separate. It will be there, and then uh, at SMPF and then at uh, different uh, system and development agencies, it works and it comes to the Shah Sugar Kota and then gets assembled and then finally it goes for launch. This is what I want to tell uh, from my point of view. Uh, we can have a discussion about uh, the rest of things. Thank you.